Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. I am working on Ashley today. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm kind of a, still in a little bit of a flow with it, so I thought I would keep going. I changed some papers around, or added some more papers to the signature. I got a little bit more cutting done, and then I cut out some of the pieces of the, the some of the ephemera that I did print out, and I thought I would just see about playing with it. Uh, these were, I just, I haven't, um, glued them, but these are the little envelopes and I'm going to decide how to put them in there, but I think they're so cute. I'm going to go ahead and use them. Um, I did tear the tags out. I haven't backed them to anything. I'm going to do that. And then I did, I'm going to cut these out. Now these are supposed to be these window pockets, but I don't want to do that. So I don't want to do it because I, I don't want it to be, it's, they're small. I guess if I would have printed it so it was bigger, maybe it would have been more appealing to me for this journal. Anyhow, I, I actually like the way it looks like this. It's kind of cool. And I think I can play with that. Um, I know that these lines right here show seams, but again, I can play with all of that. I think I feel confident. And these pockets are just, they're just tiny. I don't want them. So I'm going to just throw those up there. I like the tags, and um, I did cut the little feet down for the kids, their little, their little pocket feet, and I have the beginning of the little tag that'll go inside. So, isn't that cute? And I just used file folder. I wanted something that was going to be sturdy. I'm going to stitch around it and do some stenciling and stuff, but for now, they will just go, and I'm just going to put them in here so I don't forget what I'm doing. My little pockets. <laughs> They're so cute. Anyways, um... I'm gonna, I found a book that I don't ever use and I'm not putting it in the shop. So I thought I'm gonna use it. I'm trying to use up the books that I've bought for something, just something. So I'm gonna use it to um, glue these on because I want these little papers to be sturdier. And when I cut them out, I want it to be one piece. I hope everybody is doing well. I really, really do. There's so much changing right now. Spring's coming on us, everything's happening. Um, here's what I, my dilemma is. Now I'm thinking, do I cut it first before I glue it? Maybe it'll be easier. So I never know. <laughs> but spring is here, my friends. No, it's not really here yet, but it feels like it's trying. It's funny because I get all antsy. I'm like, I want to get outside and start doing stuff. But then I step out there and I'm like, oh, oh, no, no, it's still freezing. At least it is where I live. I need, I also have a stack of stuff that I've been wanting to make some fun little folders and just little booklets and other ephemera type things. And I haven't gotten to it, but um, I felt like it's been a minute since I worked on these journals for the girls. And if I don't continue to do a little bit here and there, they're gonna end up on that forgotten shelf. Well, it's kind of where they're living at the moment, but they're gonna end up there for a very long time. So. All right, let's get this glued on here. So there's one way to make me work on them, and that is if I do it, if I just um, turn the camera on and, video, and just do a video so that I'm crafting with my friends, then I, I, I feel it's just a little bit more fun to not craft by myself. And then also I have some, I feel like maybe I have some accountability. I'm being held, held to some, account, some sort of accountability of getting it done. It's like, <laughs> hey, what happened to that journal? So I'm just putting it on here because I want the... I want the page or this pocket to be just a little bit more heavier than just a piece of paper, but I don't want it on card because I don't want it to be that heavy. So I'm gonna turn this over. So I wanna say, I, I also I forgot to say, I, I ironed a lot of the papers and I feel like it did help in, um, I didn't have as much. Um, ink coming off. I think that it's just so dark. It's black and blue. And I think the longer it sits on there, maybe it'll just, it'll soak in, but it definitely helped to, to iron it. 
and also um, when I was putting the sealer on that page, it wasn't smearing. So that was, I was like, wow, that was awesome. That was awesome. All right, I'm just gonna go squiggly because I've already like went way um, past what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. And it doesn't have to be perfect. At least not right now. So let's see the signature. Um, I added some more pages in here. It's pretty full. It's a nice fat signature. I went ahead and stayed with this pink. Um, I like it. I think these colors, I'm gonna put these right here so you can see. So I kept, I like this right here on the front. Some of my coffee dye paper, some florals. And then I found a blue coffee dye, which I thought that was really nice with the little teddy bear. And then, you know, like that will help pop blue if I put it there. Um, I found a couple of more of these really thin, and they're, they're white, they're kind of like an off-white, I think. I don't know, I don't feel like they're bright white. You can see the difference here, it has more of a greenish tone. So, and these pages will end up getting, some of them will be ripped and torn or cut, things will be added to them. Um, I'm not gonna leave that white border on. Just haven't gotten that far yet, but see, this will be pretty anywhere. What else did I add in here? I think, I don't know if that color was in here. I mean, it's pretty much the same. You're probably thinking, uh, it doesn't look different, any different than the last video, but there's a few things that I took out. I added this blue one in here. I added this one right here. Um, that's from, and this print is from a placemat. It's one of those woven placemats. And I did add a piece of yellow in here. Well, that's kind of cute too. So, you know, there's a, a few pieces that have yellow and, and it's the closest thing I'm gonna have to like a gold. So I do like that. And then that one's there, oh, and that's so pretty. I wish there was more stuff like this in that kit. Maybe I should take a look, because at least to make some of the ephemera and pockets with. And this is that one that I bought. It's a very heavy duty, thick piece. I do like it. I just don't, I don't know for sure. I feel like this is one of those things where I would put something like this in the middle of it again on the inside, maybe on the outside and then one on the inside. I like that. Maybe a topper and a bottomer a topper and a bottomer. And I, all my pages are the same size, basically, except for just a couple, which is, um, I don't know, it's a little bit different, I guess, isn't it? All right, back to this. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out first, and then I'll glue it to the page. So this pocket, I was look, thinking about it, and I'm like, I don't know if it'll look funny. I don't think so. I think it'll look kind of cool, actually. I need the smaller scissors. I think it's just different, you know? Oh my gosh, half the trash, my friends, hits the trash and half of it falls right onto the floor next to the trash every time. Okay. And I'm using my good glue, glue stick because I don't know that I'm gonna sew these. I really do like the stitching, but I know it adds bulk, so funny like if I stitch right to the page I feel like it's not as bulky as stitching pieces that I'm doubling up and then adding them to the page I don't know it might all just be in my head
And then these tags, I need them on different kind of paper because they will be doing something. And I keep thinking, maybe I should use these, but really they're just so tiny. I don't, I mean, I guess it's okay to put like a ticket in there, but even at that, the colors aren't, um, the, they're not speaking to me. So um, I guess I can toss this. I mean, I could use it for something else, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna use those, I'm gonna toss them. They're just, I don't want to keep them in my stash. I know it sounds silly. I should probably keep them for backgrounds. That's what I'm doing. It's like fight back and forth. Do I keep it? Do I keep it? It's a shot of color, but um, it's a spot of color. No, let it go. Because I'll just have to force myself to use it then. Look at that. Cute, cute. Now I need, and I, I thought I had a, I thought I kept some copy dyed paper over here. Oh, I have this one right here. It's nice and mangled. This is how you can tell when you're using the cheapest paper, and this might be from like a kid's book or something. I've, I love the prints on here, or the splotches that I did. Um, and it's very wrinkly, so it's got lots of texture. But I could put all of these on here, yes. So that will be done. So this is pretty much just a craft with me video, I think. I'm just kind of trucking along with this journal. Hey, nice. So that's done, that's done, and that's done. These these probably need some stenciling and then glued. Um, these, I think I'm just gonna stencil on the back of them and do some stitching. And um, I'll probably put maybe like a cute little stamp on there. I think she could probably figure out, I don't know. Maybe I'll put their names on it. I don't know. I feel like that's what she would use them for. I also grabbed these. Um, I felt like they were pretty with these colors these two wallpapers and I'm just going to do a pocket on them on these pages. Let's let that dry for a minute. And those, those pockets over here out of the way. So let's see if we can figure out what page I would like to put a pocket on with this one. Usually I end up tearing all my pages and then I realize som sometimes and then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I tore them all, and some of them I wish I would have left them a little bit longer or whatever. So I'm trying to do it the other way. So I think that blue would be pretty right there. I think it'd be really pretty on this side too. And then I look at this, I'm thinking I'm sh I need to know like, what am I gonna do? I don't want anything there. Okay, I have a couple of sides for the blue. Now what would I do with the yellow? I love yellow and pink together. That's pretty. It's kind of like that gold and yellow. Golden right here that she's got going on. No. Oh, no. Still not it, huh? Okay, let me see. No, it's not like super competitive and super. It's pretty just like that with copy dye. I like that one. Okay, so maybe there for that one. And then, um, and I would just do it on both sides, I think, just to make my life a little bit simpler. Um, that's a lot going on. It does look cute there though. I feel like I like that better. But I also have these pockets. And then I also had other ephemera that I did make and I was gonna see if I, there's anything in here that I liked for this. Maybe, um, 
look in this bucket here of stuff that I've made. I have a hard time because I don't, I didn't finish the stuff that I wanted to do in here. So it's like, I really want to use this little bag, but I want to make another one like that. Will I remember to do it? Or should I just use this one, but make one right now? This is not the right color, is it? Nope. This is very peachy. Um, so I've, d I've organized my, trying to organize my ephemera. And I'm looking in, I think this is going to be decorative bags and decorated pockets maybe that I'm in. I feel like those are her colors right here. Yep, that's it. This one's going to go in her journal. So maybe what I'm going to do is pull these out, use them. But if I'm going to use this, I need to make something. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, but it's got to be something that's going to come back in here. And then here's another piece that we did. You remember doing this? This is a belly band. Um, I can see if it'll fit. I can make it fit. But that, and then I'll have one on one side and one on the other side. I don't know that I need two of them in here, but there is that. There's also this. I don't think so. Um, there's this. This isn't really the colors that I'm using on her journal, I don't think, but um, it's lacy. I could add some of her like wedding lace to this. There's no key to happiness. The door is always open. And then I can't remember what I did here. Did I seal this bag, right? This bag was always oh, going to be a pocket, like a top. I just use it as paper, as decorative paper. Maybe. And those are writing boards back there. Okay, I'm not going to use that stuff. And then what about right here? Here's some of these tags. Forgot about these. Um, I do like these tags here, but I feel like I want to use her um, dress to um, make this. Okay. Let's put this one back. There's that one. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab another box. This one is this one is journal cards, pocket tags, page pockets, and altered envelopes. Um, let's see what there, so there's there's these pieces right here I don't know how to I, I don't think that's I don't think I have these stored the best way but there's these and I really do like them let me see if there's one in here that'll um, go with this let's move this whole thing over here for a second let's put those up there I might need to flip these pages a little bit so oh my heat lamp this I need better lighting I need to I need to just get my husband to fix the lights down here. I have the, the ring light on me all the time now, that big ring light, and it just cooks me to no end. Cooks, just cooking me. Too bad it wasn't tanning me too. It wouldn't care so much. <laughs> all right, what am I doing here? What am I doing? I don't think that one's not gonna be it. The brown is not gonna be it. Um, do you remember? Do you remember when we made these? Um, that does not speak to me of Ashley, but the colors are. Hold on, let me just fan myself for a second. I am like seriously roasting in here. Okay, and I don't have to use these papers that are with it. Oops. She's not a hot paint girl. This color, it's not, I don't have to use that green, but if I take these out, this, these are the colors that are back here. It's got that. I like that one. I feel like it would look good with this too. Okay, this is a contender, but I don't. Oh my gosh. And then look, the back side of this page. Isn't that funny? Let me see. You're thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know. Are they matchy enough? Isn't that nice? Okay, so. 
I could make and this this can or cannot either way my gosh I'm just gonna put this aside I don't need that all right we'll just finish going through these really quick to make sure um, I don't think that's the one I don't think that's the one no no Ooh, that's so this is the one remember this is the one I don't know if you remember but this is the one I struggled with so much I just love how that bottom part came out Hmm. Um, let me look at that one and then I don't think that's it and I don't think this is it it's got mostly greens on this one and the green is not the color she gave me I keep trying to force green into it I'm gonna put this one here for a sec just because of the black um, let me see those can go to the side Oh, see, this one right here, I just keep seeing this blue, and I do love that. Where do those little things go? See, it's just got some blue on there. I don't have to use, like I said, I don't have to use these papers. I can just, because neither one of those are going to go. That's not good. That's not her color. But this, I feel like, would work in here. I almost feel like this would work better than this. But I do like this scrappy piece of paper here. I think that might work in here. Again with the green, Sandra, again. But you know, green, it looks good in everything. I feel like it's this one. It could be either one, I really don't know. I'm gonna leave them both out. And then this is the one I wanted to pull aside. So it's got green, peach, and black. Yeah, that's not it, not it. Put that back in there. Okay, let's stick those aside. And then let's see what else we have here. Um, this is the, there's journal cards in here. I'm on top of everything. Doesn't matter how big my desk is, I will never have enough room. <laughs> oh, I have all these cute cards right here. So I'll be using these when I go to fill stuff with these little labels on there and then I can stencil or put stamps and add stuff to them. Um, so those are nice, they're ready. Ready to use. Got my little things here. Let's see. This isn't quite the blue, but I think it might work. I think, I think that would work for hers. That might work. I, this has got some pink in it, but I don't know. I'm just gonna pull it out because it goes with that. I think that's chapter one papers. Let's see. Is this something that I did or somebody gave me? I don't remember. This one's pretty, I like that one. You know, that was just so simple. It was just a book page on fabric and sewn. Even if I don't use that one, it will help me to do something else. I have a bunch of like master board pieces that I cut up and I, they're just in here. I didn't do anything with them. I think they're just ready to be used. So, I mean, you know, to decorate. Here's a couple of these. Um, and that that's right, that was the journal spot on the back there. That's kind of fun. I know it's not Easter, but just gotta look at these. No, I don't think so. I 
kind of like this one. This is alcohol ink on um, photo card that my friend Robin did. I backed it. Looks like it needs a little bit better backing here. Um, I used a glue stick because I can fill it. Copy dye paper, and then I just stitched an image on there. And then this image I got from a digi kit, and I don't know who from. Um, I didn't pay attention. See, this is in the beginning when I started. I was just trying to do things, and I see like words I don't want to put on here just because I don't know what it is in the whole context of the story. But just to see that word, other like other means fail them, like so I won't use this. I actually need to take it out of my thing, so I'm not going to use that. I need to take it apart. <laughs> do something and put something different together with it um, yeah I try to pay that's so I try to pay attention now I don't I don't always hit the mark but you know yeah, just do what you can that's pretty I think those colors are nice It's very stiff. I don't know. Okay. Ooh, what about one of those affirmational cards? Like, um, I attract only healthy relationships. I'm always treated well. Um, let's see. Divine right action is guiding me every moment of the day. I like that one. I don't know if it's going to fit that, this journal, though. Oh, I like that one with the lion on there. That's pretty. I like the whole saying. Here's another one of those cards. I'm going to stick that in that bunch. In that little bundle. I love experiencing every age. I rejoice in each passing year. That's a pretty one, too. And I love the stitching on that. Okay. These are some time cards, all used time cards um, that I just stitched around and added those papers to them. Um, let's see. Um, the um, the, um, I keep saying that a lot. This one I did it two, two different colors, which I like them both, but that definitely does set it apart. So does that little thumb, that little thumb notch, which these don't have. I don't think it's too late. None of these are really speaking to me. I have these other ones here. These are those, um, you know, Triple pockets? Is it triple? Double pockets? Same thing. It's another pocket thing. Double pockets. And they can be used as a floating, they can be a tag, a pocket tag. You can put them or attach them either way. Um, no. It's lacy. I like these, but these aren't the ones. I think I would like to do one of these in here, just not these. So. Let's take one that doesn't match at all and put it there so I know to make one. I'll, I'll do this one instead. Won't. Where do these things go? Yeah, it doesn't really match at all. But. And then these were fun. These are altered envelopes. I never. Like, nothing's fully finished. That's me. I'm like my husband. He's the contractor, so every room's been remodeled, but every n not one room has been completely finished. <laughs> and, um, so, I mean, some of them are, like, super little minor little things. But um, it's like me and my craft room. I, I've, I've got a lot of stuff happening, but nothing's fully finished. Okay. That's... I can't get that back in there. Also... I think when I was doing these, I liked the, the coolness of the back of the envelope, and so I left it, because I, I don't know if I left it in all of them, or if it was one of those things where I thought I would I could change it later on, but I actually do like that um, black and white. It just looked zebra-y to me, so see, they're all different in the background. 
and then you know it's an altered envelope, but some people don't like them. Oh, look it, I chose the image, but I never even attached it. Jeez Louise. That's not it either. Okay, so let's see. This one, this is made with um, wallpaper. It's, it's just all, I think I like this one. A true love story never ends, magical. This is really pretty. This might, this might work in here. It's got some hot pink. It's got some butterfly stuff. I don't know, we'll see. Here's another time card. This one, I just, you can write on the back of it. It's a floating one. But they're very stiff, you know, very stiff. And then here's pockets that I cut. These are some, these are pretty. These came from um, a kit I bought from, I'm pretty sure it was from Gail Gustinelli. Let me see, I wonder if any of these would work in here. And I believe she used her eco dies and things, different things to make these. She put together a bunch of stuff and then made her kits. See, that's really pretty. I like that pocket. Oops. And then they're already, I've already cut them and made them the little gussets to make them a little bit heavier. I don't want that much pink for her. If it was for me, we'd be like pinking it up. I'm trying to get this like rust color in here to pull that gold a little bit. I like it's a combo of those. That's nice. I like that one. I like them both, I don't know. Oh, I like this one too. Okay, I'll just take all of those out and then we'll see what's left to choose from. I haven't like just made tons of ephemera in so long and I like having tons of it to choose from. These were just some postcards that I had and I was just like, just putting stitches just different places just to give them some pizzazz, but I don't think that's gonna work right now either. All right, let's get another bucket. All right, this one has um, decorated envelopes, some envelopes, booklets, and painty bags. I don't know that I'm gonna use any of this stuff. So let me just make some room here, first of all. And let's see, I need to put these in something, things that I can put in the journal and things that I will have to recreate also to make a secondary one for me, if I have time. If, if there's time, we don't know. But look at all this stuff. I think this journal's gonna be so full with pretties. And then I need to fill them. And I do have a, another container back there that has just a bunch of tags. And then we'll make some things to go along with this. So this this was that painty bag thing that I did. Um, and I really wasn't loving how it was coming out, but I gotta say for background paper, like I think that might actually be kind of cool. And just to have like a little, like a little, and it's copied that on that side. So. All by its lonesome, it wasn't doing, it wasn't like looking gorgeous, I don't think to me. It has that texture, so that must be the acrylic paint fill. Okay, I like it. I don't hate it, I like it, so that's good. These were something I never finished either, they're just little tiny booklets. I just sewn these little signatures, a bunch of these little signatures, and then this is that green, um, you know, the, the folders that hold the files in the filing cabinet. I had a whole bunch of those and I was cutting them up. I was using them for something and um, I didn't need the this part of it. But then I liked the way that looked. I thought it was kind of cute. So I thought they just made cute little booklets and I never finished I never finished them. I think I gave a few of them away, but this is what I have left. Should make some more of those. That might be good to put in there. Um, let's see. 
Let's see. Enjoy simple pleasures. This is really bright. I feel like this might go with in Alicia's. Ooh, here's a painty bag. I think that would go in here. Decopage, not a paint. I call it the painty bag, but it's just decopage napkin on there. I have two other bags already. One's technically not a bag, though. I changed it. It was a bag, and then it wasn't. And then there's just envelopes in here. So I'm going to put this one back. Let's see. So let's see what we have. We have, not that I'm going to, I'm not going to find the exact spot for these, but I kind of want to have an idea what's happening. This is going to be a journal card. So that goes over there. This would be a journal card. This would be a journal card. Not this, not a pocket. I don't think. These would go directly onto the page. Let's see, that's cute there. I don't know if this is gonna go with this one. I think it just is. Her journal, let me say, first of all, it, it's going to be kind of eclectic because it's encompassing different things. Her color scheme and then with the things that she gave me to put in here for the kids, like it's just so different. Like it's just going to be an eclectic journal. I kind of like that there. I like this because it's got a lot of writing space though. much better so then if I put that one there let's turn this over this way would I need to put anything there I don't have to but I guess that bag could go there nice writing space nice decorative spot there Here's a place that can be decorated with something to add something pretty. I guess, I mean, like that would be pretty here, wouldn't it? Oh, then I could like, well, this is like a flip. I don't know. Um, there's no other black on here, is there? Unless I put black on there. I could always change that bow. Or I can make something like this with her appliques to go on here and it can be like a different color bag so it's gonna go with it, that might work. I have um, I have the little journal cards too of the kids' clothes. I wanted to add some more things to these but I kind of thought, wouldn't this be cute if she had a picture of them and she like was able to put a picture on both of these cards and then she can write on them. I, I don't know how to, if she sends me pictures, I print them and they're just like regular size. I don't know how to do that. I think you, as far as I know, I think you have to have like some sort of a, um, what do you call it? A program and I don't have it. Look at, I found some more stuff that I made. Look at these tags. These would be cute in here. Okay. I have another little bucket over there. Stuff that I was working on. Shocker. Shocker. <laughs> Um, see, I, not that one, obviously, but all right, let's see. So those are journal cards. Anyways, I like this. I just don't think this is the one for here. I need to do something though. And then we just have like, that's just a big pocket. That's not a bag. And the other bag is on the other side. So technically I can put this bag here or not there. Not that one. What about this? That's cute there. Oh, look at I never even like put this one in there anywhere. So I guess the other one was it. 
I put this aside. Oh, squeakiest chair in the world. Um, I feel like, I, I mean, I know that's all sewn and I de decorated the back of it, but I feel like this would be a cute pocket here. Okay. I think I have more pockets than I have space. Let's see. I don't want to forget these. And that's cute. That look like drapes. See? It does work. See? Who doubted me? Just kidding. <laughs> I must have been doubting myself. I'm like, see? I told you. I told you inside my inside doubter person inside me. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I think that would be pretty right there. Yeah, that's cute. And then maybe one of these super cute little gale pockets here. This is a gusseted pocket. Um, do I want to go all the way to the edge? Do I want to go kind of in this top right here and dress the page up? I don't know. But it, whatever, it'll be on that page. Okay. And I still have stitching and ripping and things like that to do on this. So... And these will be torn down to be used. Okay, these are gorgeous. I love them. These are journal cards. Journal card. That all can go up there. This is a little... These are pockets. And journal cards. So I'm really... I'm almost done with the stuff that I have to play with. That I pulled. Still want to use this bag somewhere. I just haven't found where it needs to... Where I want it to live. Kind of pretty on that pink. Hmm. But I was thinking this here. Ooh, I don't know. I'm not liking that. Nope. Well, that's pretty. A little bit of brightness there. Okay. And then maybe on this side. One, another, oh, do I just have one of Gail's pockets right back here, though? So, I guess, and I have a bag on the other side. Oh, my gosh. Dilemmas. Okay, so, would I put a bag there instead? Or a pocket? No. A bag. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, I kind of like that. Now, back to the this page over here, though. I do have, um, not that it would be this one, but I can make another one that matches with this stuff and that could go there. Or not. <laughs> or not. Okay. And then we have this side right here. And I still have that little belly band thing for the kids to do. So um, I don't need to not forget that. Did I put this on this side? I forgot. Oh, I already forgot what I did. Yes. So I would, if I use a second one, I, can, I want it to be on this side. I like it there. I say so unconvincingly to myself. Um, kind of like that too, though. This definitely needs to be cut down on the edges. I might even just tear this off and redo this whole thing, but it's it's a workable piece. Am I not going to use that? All right, 
There, I'm pretty much done with what I pulled to use. Um, I have the little thing in here from the kids stuff. And I have some ribbons and things like that. So those will have to, I'll have to figure out where I'm gonna stick those. Now, my gosh, look how fat this is. I might have to redo my cover um, just to make it, see if I can find a one that's a little bit fatter. Holy, holy guacamole, look at that. It's gonna be a stuff, it's gonna be a fluffy one. I mean, just because I used one gill pocket doesn't mean I can't use two, and I can make a double pocket. I do like that. Um, it's They're both gusseted, <laughs> a double gusset, that's okay. Nobody here to stop me. But this also does not look good there. Okay. So as we move through this, I haven't, I'm not putting anything down today. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's just not going to be used. I just don't think it's needed. I'm gonna put it up there for now. I do need to figure out these pockets here though. Um, did I really stick them like side by side? Or did I just move it and not put it back where I was gonna put it? Oh my gosh. I like this one there. And I believe that one went by a, a white page back here. Maybe it was this one. Uh, no, does anybody remember? Was it here? Maybe it was. No. No, no, no. I don't know where it's at, but I'll, I'll figure it out. It'll come to me eventually. And I do like this one here, I believe, but I'm going to pull those two giant pieces out because that's going to be something that goes in a little bit later, I believe, at this point. So now I sort of have a placement. I'm never going to remember where I put all this stuff, but I, I do it the first time. This is how I work it a lot of the time is I see, are these the pieces that I like that are gonna be in here? Will they fit with the different pages? Um, and then I'll start tearing things down and start getting them, figuring out where I want them. And then when it's all said and done and I'm ready to put it all together, they still might end up in a little bit of a different spot. It's very confusing. But if you're just hanging out with me while you craft and you're just like kind of watching me do it in my with my <laughs> wild techniques, then I've succeeded in, in doing that for you. <laughs> but anyways, I do have some trims and stuff that I want to look at. I want to get this to cut down and I want to make sure it's going to fit in my book. So I'm going to go and work on that because as you can see, my journal, my signature has already outgrown my cover and um, my pieces that I'm putting in here, I need to make sure they're going to fit. All right. So I will see you, my friends, on the next video when I'm ready to tackle some more of this. And um, I just hope you enjoy all your moments. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.